everyone, my name is Yuliana Chi and welcome to my channel. I'm a professional photographer and editor and today in this video I want to show you how to clean up a um, dirty background when there is a lot of um, there's a lot of cleanup to do. So I already have a video on my channel to show how to deal with either if the frame is crooked or the just background. Um, so there is that. Check out that one. It's a little bit easier because in this one I actually concentrate on more advanced because this one has a lot of texture and there is um, a lot of empty space that needs to be filled out. So check out that video. It might be useful for you. And let's start and uh, make this background nice and pretty. So firstly, as always, I just start by creating a duplicate of the background layer. I never work on the background. I always keep it uh, untouched as a reference. And you can, uh, well, I have a um, hotkey in my tablet, but you can just grab the background layer and put it here, drag it to the plus. Uh, I'm not going to do it because I already have one and it will going to duplicate it for you. Okay, so this is where we will going to work with. So first of all, the frame is too tight. There is obviously no space on the top and let's fix that. So you can either extend canvas, uh, but I prefer just use crop tool and just drag it a little bit up as much as I need. I guess this one will be fine. And then composition wise, I think this is maybe a little bit lower. Just like this and hit OK. Make sure that content aware does, um, is unclicked. So hit OK. And now we have all this empty space, empty canvas to fill out with. So first let's do uh, the easy part. Let's do, let's work with the sides. So with the sides, make sure that you on the duplicate layer uh, create, a, oh, there is. create a new empty layer and to in order to duplicate I'll just use clone stamp tool make sure the flow is 100 and I'll just stamp next to the back and just kind of let's do it again make sure that the edges are aligned yes, like this perfect just like that okay yep and on the other side just make sure the edge is aligned and if there is not enough to sample just kind of do not drag it like do not drag it just do dot 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 dot, dot if that makes sense There is this little flaws and imperfection on the floor. Okay. Now, let's for now, we will gonna remove this area as well. But for right now, for the convenience, let's just deal with this too, just like so. And on this side, here, dot, 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 dot. I didn't align the edge properly, so let's do it again. Make sure it's aligned, dot, dot, dot. And it's fine that the texture is repetitive. It's okay for now. Okay, and let's, here I'll be needing a smaller size brush. Just like so, okay looks good enough for right now for what we need we already um took care of the all the empty space here and while we here i just want to i don't really like this line here so i'll make a flow about 18 percent Okay, now we will gonna deal with this area and this is the challenging one. So, well, not super challenging. I'm gonna show you how you're gonna deal with it. So what you wanna do is to copy um, the uh, copy of the copy of the layer and you want to um, select the layer with the all the 
adjustments and hit command E and command E will gonna merge it together with the um, with the layer underneath it. And now on this layer you will understand why we need to copy again. We will gonna select the subject and for that you will go to the settings and uh, select subject and Photoshop these days does great job with it. Okay, beautiful. And now press the left button or the right button. Oh, make sure that okay. make sure that uh, marquee tool is selected, and then press the right button. And from the um, window that appears, choose fill. And okay. And let's Photoshop think a little bit and do its magic. Okay. So this is good enough for what we need. Hit Command D to deselect, and um, let's take a clone stamp tool and just work kind of here a little bit. Okay, this it doesn't really matter. You understand why? Okay, so okay. Now what you want to do is take a marquee tool. And select the area of the backdrop only. I mean, this is for my picture. It might not be accurate for you, but I, I I'll explain why. You don't want to select all the image because now you will gonna um, stretch it. So hit Command T for transform, and then take for the higher one. And I'm gonna press Shift because I want to stretch it only one way, not always. And I'll just gonna stretch it all the way up. Okay, perfect. Hit enter and command D to deselect. So the reason why I didn't stretch all the canvas because now once we bring it, once we bring up our original layer on top, do you see it will still match the edge of the canvas of the backdrop? But if we would stretch it all of it, it will go higher up and then it would not match. And the reason why we want to match, because now on the top layer we're going to up apply mask. We'll take a brush, make sure that it's opacity 100%. And with the black color, okay. So now looks already looks so much better from before and after. Now we already have the full background. Um, kind of we already. Oops, I forgot to fold here. We fix the background here, so we need to. Okay, now we already have the full backdrop there. Now let's fine tune it and work a little bit on this texture. So for that I'm gonna use a um, new layer and I'm gonna uh, use, okay we can, I always like to merge them together because I believe that it makes file smaller and computer works better. So um, that adjustment, whenever if I'm fine with adjustment I always merge it down. Okay so on the new empty layer just take a clone stamp tool, flow maybe 8, 9, Maybe even less. Let's do five. And let's just work on that texture a little bit. Let's just smooth it. Just like so. Okay. Looks really nice. Looks really good to me. So here is the before and here is after. We're not done yet. So what happens sometimes because there's texture on the backdrop uh, with using clone stamp tool what happened is we lose it because it's gonna blur it out and I mean it's fine if for your image this is fine you can leave it as is but I'll show you how to make it very nice so now merge it down come on E and we will go and find textures so I already choose one so whenever I need something from online some textures or just images I usually go to unsplash.com this is free very good stock of images and there's very different ones whatever you want you can just write in the search bar uh, for now I write uh, well it's grunge texture not grinch but um, 
yes because this is what I needed and I found these amazing textures so I find this one is the closest one to what I need and I'll just get it and drag it so if you are gonna use this images from the unsplash make sure to credit photographer if you actually use it for um, something but we'll just use texture somewhat so um, command T and I'm gonna stretch it all the way and hit enter okay perfect now let's go to the layer underneath it and again go to here properties and select subject and this is Photoshop does amazing job with selecting subject, especially on the plain backgrounds. And hit Shift Command I, and now we invert the selection. And now go on the texture layer and hit Mask. And this way you see it created mask, so the texture now affecting only background and does not affect the subject. What happened once? So we're not done yet. Although if that's the way you like it, then you can just obviously change the background, but I'm showing you how to work with the original background. So for now, we this, this texture has color and now I kind of choose it, it's also green, so it's kind of complementary to background. But what if you choose texture that has entirely different color from your background? The best way to have your texture does not affect your color, you need to desaturate it. And for that you can sh you can press Shift Command U and now you see it desaturated the background. So now the color value of it does not have any color value. So now we can have only texture and now we will gonna apply it either overlay or soft light the way we like more. I kind of like that overlay bring a little bit more texture so i'm gonna go with overlay and i'll just lower the opacity a little bit just like that okay great so but now what we see is it all it affects all the background and it also makes background here darker and i don't want that so for that we can choose blend if double click and underneath layer we remove it. I say that I don't want it on any black one. So I first I use both of them to select the area, okay, and then hit Alt to split them to create that soft gradient. Hit OK, let's see the before and after. Now it affects only the area of the um, the lighter area where we actually lost uh, lose that texture. Of course, again, you don't have to do it. I'm just showing you how to do it with any background. I mean, it doesn't have to be that complicated, but when it's complicated background, that's the way you can fix it. And lower opacity a little bit, looks good to me. Let's see the before, after, great. And now the last, but not least, I mean, it's already looks very nice. You can leave it as is, but to put the cherry on top, to make it extra nice, you can go um, create a dodge and burn layer. So dodge and burn layer, I have an action for that that I'm going to show you. So you basically go to a layer, new, new layer. And here you choose from mode, you choose, let's go for soft light. And then you click fill with soft light neutral color 50% gray and hit OK. And now, this is non destructive way to do the dodge and burning. Select uh, dodge tool and you can flip between them by pressing Alt key. Now I'm pressing Alt and I'm burning actually, even though the dodge tool is select, you can see in my uh, history window they show burn tool and I'm just creating nice vignetting. And I'm done here. So now we have this beautiful background. You can never tell that it's been um, 
adjusted and this is the before and this is the after really nice and you see it was relatively simple and I didn't took that much job so of course this process is for um, complicated background if there is really not that much there's a lot of needs to be done but if that's the case and if you found it helpful uh, I'm glad that you did you can check out my other videos and my uh, you might find them helpful as well and if you see you want to see my photography uh, you can check out my Instagram it's at you and she underscore photo okay so hopefully that you enjoyed this video and you found it useful and uh, hope to see you next time bye